this is the Niri window manager with dank material shell running on Ubuntu. It gives you a next level fill-in desktop experience. The dank is built using QuickShell and Go and it is optimized for fill-in compositors like Niri, Hyperland and many others. In today's video, I will show you how to set up Ubuntu with Nuri and DMS, also known as Dank Material Shell. Now let's start by installing Nuri and Dank Shell on Ubuntu. Now first, make sure you have a fresh installation of Ubuntu 25.10 on your PC or laptop. Now this guide only works on Ubuntu 25.10 or later. In my case, I already have Ubuntu Desktop installed alongside Windows 11 on the same drive. Now, this is a dual boot setup. I have already made a separate video showing how to install Ubuntu and I will leave a link to that video in the description. Before installing the Niri and Dank dot files, make sure you have at least 10 GB of free space available on your system. The first thing to do after installing Ubuntu is to update your system. Open terminal or console and type this command to update your system. Once it's done, reboot your system. Then install TimeShift, a backup tool, that allows you to create snapshots of your system. Now this backup will be used if anything goes wrong after installing Niri. Now ensure you back up the entire root system and home directories. Then click create to take a snapshot of the current state of Ubuntu. Additionally, back up any important files to an external media for extra safety. It's recommended to install a few essential dependencies using apt. Just go ahead and run this command to install git and other required packages. It's time to set up the pre-configured Niri window manager with DMS. Let's start by visiting the official website to learn more about the setup. I recommend reading the instructions carefully and going through the entire page. Then look for the quick start section. Now go ahead and copy these commands and run them inside the terminal one by one to start setting up Niri and DMS.files. After running these commands, reboot your system. Once the system starts on the GDM login screen, click on your username, then click on the settings gear icon at the bottom right and switch the session to Niri. Now this session manager makes it very easy to switch between GNOME and Niri. After that, enter your password to login. After a successful login, you will see the Niri shortcut screen. Now go ahead and read these shortcuts to learn actions like opening the terminal, workspace overview, taking screenshot, and much more. Now this is one of the most beautiful quick show experiences on Niri that you will ever experience. Now 
Now the first thing you should do after setting up Nuri and DMS.files is to fix the brightness issue on laptops where brightness cannot be adjusted using the keyboard. Now go ahead and press Super plus T to open the terminal. The super key is the Windows key on your keyboard. Since Nuri is a scrollable tiling window manager, you can use a three finger swipe gesture to move between workspaces. You can press Super plus F to maximize the window. Now type this command to install the brightness control package. Once it's done, type this command to add the default user to the video group. After that, restart your system. Now you will see that the screen brightness can be controlled using the keyboard. If you are using a laptop or external monitor, you may notice the UI is scaled to 100%. To fix this, type this command to find the default output name of your monitors. In my case, I'm using a laptop with a built in display, and the output name is EDP 1. Now open another terminal window by pressing super plus T and edit the default Neary config file. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and add these lines inside the curly braces. Now change the output name to match your display. My display supports 1080p resolution with a 144Hz refresh rate, so I have added that. The scale value is set to 1.25. You can set it anywhere between 0 to 2 based on your preference. Now set the transform value to normal and keep the X and Y position values to 0. And that's it. Now save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and hit Enter. Then press Ctrl plus X to exit the editor. You will now see the fractional scaling in action. Now the display looks much, much better. It's time to fix the wallpaper issue. Open terminal and create a directory named pictures inside your home folder. Next, let's clone a collection of high quality wallpapers into this directory by running this command. Once it's done, open wallpapers panel by pressing super plus Y and set the path to the newly created folder. Now you will see all the wallpapers displayed. Now just go ahead and choose the one you want to apply. Now, by clicking your mouse on the top middle of the screen, it will bring up the control center. It consists of five sections, dashboard, media, wallpapers, weather, and settings. The dashboard section displays the time, date, system information, and media player controls. The media section allows you to control audio playback directly from the panel. The wallpaper section lets you switch between wallpapers very easily, and the weather section shows live weather information. The final section is called settings. Now let's open the settings shortcut. Now from here, you can switch between light or dark themes. The layout follows Android's material expressive design. Now under the interface settings, you can customize animations, tweak the top bar, and even adjust the theme colors and much more.
Now clicking on the top right of the screen opens up Quick Settings panel, which looks very similar to GNOME. Now using these toggles, you can adjust brightness, sound, manage Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, enable light mode, handle power options, and much more. You can also customize this panel by adding more toggles, which is quite impressive. Now by far, this is one of the best quick settings panel that I have ever experienced. Also, the top bar includes widgets and applets like notifications, clipboard history, and shows the real-time CPU and memory usage. On the left side, you will find the app launcher icon. By tapping it, it will display all the installed applications and allows you to search for any installed application, making it the easiest way to launch applications on your system. Now let's talk about the workspaces. Niri supports a workspace overview. You can press Super plus O to see all the workspaces and open apps. On the top bar, you will see the workspace switcher. Using this, you can simply switch between workspaces. You can also use a keyboard shortcut by pressing super plus a number from 0 to 9 to quickly switch between different workspaces. Now to switch between applications, press super plus tab and you can move between apps very easily. Overall, Ubuntu with DMS dot files takes your Neary experience to the another level. And that's all for this video on installing and customizing Neary on Ubuntu. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.